Today's throwback. In the backdrop of the fact that Nigeria is going through a lot of rot, we can only fall back again. We've done this before. We'll fall back again on the bow peak of uh, a man who revolutionized and cleansed out the debt in a, in a swath, sizable region, not only of Nigeria, but of, indeed of uh, the west coast of Africa, Usman Damfodio. Now, Usman Damfodio was born in 1754 in what is now northwestern Nigeria. He was from the Fulani tribe, an itinerant pastoralist ethnic group. From a young age, he showed great intellectual and religious aptitude, receiving and enthusiastically acquiring comprehensive education in Islamic studies. In the early 19th century, the renowned Islamic scholar, Osman Danford, who launched a jihad, a struggle or fight against the enemies of Islam, which is called the Fulani War, against the Aousa kingdoms of northern Nigeria, he was victorious and established the Fulani Empire with his capital in Sokoto. Osman Danfodio was a prominent Islamic scholar, teacher, political military strategist, and sociocultural reformer in West Africa in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. In 1803, Osman Danfodio founded the Sokoto Caliphate and was elected commander of the faithful, Amir al mumun by his followers. The Sakoto Caliphate reportedly expanded as far as Burkina Faso to parts of Cameroon and including most, if not all, of northwestern due to parts of north central and northeastern Nigeria and southern Niger Republic. And it's at its height, the Caliphate included over 30 different emirates under its political architecture. The Caliphate ruled as the most populous empire in West Africa. The Caliphate was ruled as the most populous, historically populous empire in West Africa through much of the 19th century until the 29th July 1903. The Second Battle of Burme concluded its dissolution with the defenestration of Sultan Muhammadu Atayiru by British and German forces. By, by British and German forces. As a scholar, Osman Danfodio advocated for a return to the pure teachings. I need to read this place well enough. As a scholar and a teacher and a leader, Osman Danfodio advocated for a return to the pure teachings of Islam and a rejection of what he saw as corrupt practices and beliefs. He criticized the rulers of the Hausa states in northern, in northern Nigeria for their perceived deviation from Islamic principles. The Sokoto Caliphate under him until date became a center for Islamic scholarship, education, and political administration. And it had a significant impact on the development of Islam in West Africa. Usman Danfodio also wrote numerous books on various subjects, including Islamic law, theology and governance. His writings continue to be influential in Islamic scholarship in West Africa. Overall, his life and teachings had a profound impact on the spread of Islam and the political and, the political and social dynamics of West Africa in the 19th century. This is where we wrap it up for tonight. I am Gola Oba.